Hey, what's up guys? Talon back with a video. Just a short video today. I wanted to show you guys um, kind of what I've got going on here. So I'm currently running a 13900K at uh, stock settings. And uh, that's running on a EVGA Dark Z690 Kingpin on the latest BIOS that they have on their website. And then I'm running the new G-Skill 7600CL36 um, Trident Z5s. Those are the eight eyes. They just came out with those. I think they also might have a 7800 kit, but I don't know if that's available anywhere. And uh, picked them up yesterday from Micro Center. I got done with a flight, um, got done with a trip, and uh, I had reserved them uh, while I was gone and managed to run over there and get those on the way home before they closed. Um, so yeah, picked them up. They were $419, uh, a little bit cheaper than what Newegg's offering, and they were out of stock at Newegg. They were just doing back orders. Uh, Micro Center just had one kit in. Basically, they're, they're, they're not available anywhere. They're pretty rare memory kit. Uh, so if you do get them, Micro Center or Newegg is probably going to be your best pet meter if you're in Europe. But I picked them up anyway, a little bit cheaper than uh, Newegg was offering. And uh, I've been testing them last night. For whatever reason, when I first tested them, I could not get the XMP Profile 7600 CL36 to work. I couldn't get 7400 CL36 to work. And after tinkering and tuning and, and doing a little bit of research last night, I finally discovered the kind of the magic sauce to make this work with uh, the Kingpin board. And so currently we're running the memory at 7800 CL36 and it's been completely stable. I've been gaming on it all afternoon, having no issues. And that's running just 1.435 volts on the VDD and VDDQ. And I believe 1.35 on the memory controller and 1.25 on the, uh, uh, might even be 1.2 on the system agent. So not super high on that. Uh, not, not not needed. The memory control at 1.35 is perfectly fine, and uh, the vol it's rated for 1.4, as you can see on the SPD here for its XMP. So I don't even know if it needs 1.435. I just put that. That's the highest you can set before you unlock the extreme voltage um, and uh, start to push it up. They've already got kits that are coming out at 1.5, 1.55. So 1.435, 1.4. Those are totally safe voltages. There's guys using like 1.6 plus. Um, so I do have a fan running on them. So that does keep them relatively cool. And I'll show you guys really quickly here what I've kind of got going on. So I just have the PC set up in here. And uh, that's what it's looking like. So this is just a Noctua. Um, I think it's a 60 millimeter. Yeah, I believe that's a 60 millimeter um, fan. And I, you know, have it running pretty quiet. And then the Kingpin board, there's my Z690 uh kingpin board and then i've got the rtx 4090 uh strix overclock edition in there as well so looking really nice this is a corsair 7000d case and then i just got this delivered today this is the cable mod um cable to my evga 1600 t2 power supply so the titanium power supply and then this is the cable mod i didn't have any issues with the nvidia cable i inspected it after zero thermal issues what what I think is going on and what uh, I saw an article on Igor's lab today said that they think it's people are not connecting this fully. And I, when I connected this, I actually saw that how easy it would be to miss, to think that you've got it fully seated and it's not. And this little, I don't know if it's on the NVIDIA cable, I'm going to inspect that, but it kind of separates a little bit and then you push it in and I thought it was seated and I was able to easily just pull it right back off. So I messed with the cable, the plastic here, put it back to the way it was supposed to be, clicked it in and gave it a good tug. And uh, yeah, it's, it's fully seated. I'm having no issues. Again, I didn't have any issues. I inspected my cable twice through use because I obviously was getting a little bit worried and I was shutting the PC down when it wasn't in use simply for that reason. So it, it, it's, it fits in here pretty nicely. I kind of gave it a nice little route back here and used the uh, uh, card holder here, whatever you want to call it, um, to kind of route the cable so they were coming back and under in here into the power supply. And then you can kind of see, if you can see from an angle here, it fits in there pretty nicely. Even when you shut the glass, it doesn't, it, it's not going to hurt this. There's no real bend on that. It's pretty straight on. Really nice. Super nice cable. I think it's 
there haven't been any reports of this cable having any sort of issues. I don't think it's the cables. I honestly truly believe now that if you don't have this connected properly, and I saw how easy it was to 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 not see that uh, today, that that might actually be the issue. So I don't know. I think we'll find out. Um, get that glass closed up pretty soon. I'm sure uh, Nvidia or other outlets are going to come out with their findings. So still still ticking along here coming up on 2000% coverage. Usually I let it go to about three, five, maybe 10,000% 10 coverage, depending on how, how I'm feeling for the day. It's kind of boring to sit here and let this go. Usually I find that once it makes it to about 500%, it's gonna keep going. It's very rare that it continues. And if it does, you're very, very close to stability where you can just add just a, just a tick of voltage and it normally fixes it. So yeah, it's pretty good. Biggest uh, I've tested so far, 8200 CL36 booted at 1.455 volts. I can't get it stable yet. I don't have 8000 CL36 stable yet, but I went all the way to 82. I didn't try 84, so 84 may even work. Um, so we'll see. I'm hoping I can get like 8200, 8000. 8000 just sounds really nice at CL36 stable. So yeah, that's about it. That's what I want to show you guys. This is the... 7600 cl36 g skill trident z5 kit as far as i know right now on the market it's the fastest ddr5 you can get and it is it's uh, blazing fast hope you guys enjoyed it i'll catch you in the next one